And 2016, it all started with a phone call from the UK and just a blank piece of paper. I'm Martin Vassell, sales representative of Bomb Group. We are Bomb Group. We are specialized in greenhouses, screening and climate. We are one of the leading turnkey builders and we have worldwide experience. I think they choose for Bomb because of the company we are. So all the, the main items that we're providing them. But next to that, we have a real good project management on the field, a proven track record of these kind of projects. And also we have health and safety in the highest priority in our company. This low carbon farming project fits us like a glove. We have built several state-of-the-art greenhouses, such as the old climate greenhouse, the greenhouse 2030 that should be fossil free for 100%, we did the Winterlight Greenhouse, the Estidama Water Saving Greenhouse, growing tomatoes in the desert. We do these kinds of projects all over more than 50 years. Today I will take you on a journey with a low carbon farming project. The idea was to use the waste heat from the sewer station to warm up the greenhouses. The main uh, heating is coming from heat pumps that are affected now by the sewer treatment station that gives us some low grade heat. We tune it up to middle grade heat, about 50 degrees. The rest of the heat will be produced by CHPs and for emergency reasons we have two boilers standing by. And the CHPs will uh, bring the electricity for the heat pumps, giving extra heat at a higher grade. So that's why we also have two heat storage tanks. One is for low grade heat, one is for high grade heat. And also the CHPs are giving us the CO2 we need for the plants. And we were triggered on the ID and he internally we formed a team with all kinds of specialists uh, from a company to get the project on the move and get the job done. There were two major challenges. One side was decarbonizing British farming and the other side, upcoming Brexit, where food production is stimulated to get more producing in the UK itself. The length of the pre-construction phase in this case was quite long. Uh, between 2016 and finally starting in the project with groundbreaking, it took us almost three years. Now, at that time we used to develop the project, to get it all fitted out together, using our network of companies that we closely worked together for many years already. But also we were pitching at uh, finances in London and also looking for growers who would like to be then the tenant of this project. The unique part of the project was also the scale. This was in the UK, the scales of 29 hectare in one project is quite big. It's on two locations. One is in Norwich. It's a total of 16 hectares. They will grow their tomatoes and cucumbers. The other project in Bury St. Edmunds. It's 13 hectares and they will grow peppers for an English grower. This 29 hectare will help the UK to get more self-sufficient. They still import too much and with the upcoming Brexit, it's good that they will have more food on local ground. These projects had a huge impact in not only the UK, but also worldwide. It was picked up by several newspapers within our industry, but even BBC News made an item. These new greenhouses could not only help make the UK self-sufficient in produce, but also reduce carbon emissions by 75%. So Ben, we're now walking into the greenhouse, blimey, it's really, really big. Um, certainly one of the largest in terms of the UK. For every hectare of normal land, a greenhouse like this can produce 10 times more food using 10 times less water. We'd be looking at growing probably about 23 million peppers a year wow. from this particular facility. So what is that as a percentage of the amount of consumption of peppers in the UK? I'd say probably 5%. A conventional greenhouse might use fossil fuels to provide its heat by burning gas or oil. 
but here the waste heat from the nearby sewage works is pumped two and a half kilometers via an enclosed loop system to the greenhouse. The idea to use this waste heat came from thermal engineer Neil Lawson. Well, it was inspiration from nature, really. Walking down the river with a dog on a winter's day, saw a stream coming in from the left and it was steaming and all the ducks were sitting on there, obviously enjoying the warmth. So I followed that stream up to its source and came up to the uh, sewage treatment works. They were discharging a thousand litres a second of uh, clean water into the river at up to 25 degrees centigrade. That equates to 54 megawatts worth of waste heat. That's enough heating for about 15,000 homes. We started in September uh, last year, and now in October 2020, we're almost finishing up. We are finalizing the greenhouses, the heating, the screening. The technical installations are almost done. So within the next two months, we're finishing up, and then the clients can enter the greenhouses to put in their plants. We give high priority in the BOM group to our new young BOM talents because we are educating them in uh, everything we already gathered over the years and we try to pass it on to our BOM talents because these BOM talents are really important for us. They are the future for our company but even the future for the industry feeding the next generation. I'm Ruben Kalkman and I started here as a trainee during my university with little knowledge of horticulture. But with these types of projects, such as low carbon farming, I'm learning more day by day. In my eyes, BOM Group is a very innovative and beautiful company with lots of opportunities. And it's also great to work in such a specialistic team as BOM Group is. So I'm very happy to be part of BOM Group and I'm looking forward to the future. We used to supply just uh, a greenhouse, a heating, a screening, but now uh, we have a different type of clients are coming. Uh, even the scale of the project is getting larger and larger. They ask us for now a full turnkey. So we are not supplying just a greenhouse, a heating and an installation. We're doing everything, utilities, the connection towards the sewers, the gas, the electricity, but even we're helping them with the marketing plant. We did land leveling up to eight meters height difference. We did the greenhouse screening, heating, everything what should be normal. But besides that, we did even the roads, the connection to the high road. We made parkings up to the electrical charge point for cars. It's really, really a full turnkey concept here. And that's all by wishing of the funders that want to avoid risk by working with many different parties, so they said we just want one 10k builder who's responsible from A to Z and that was bombed.